Hello again. Welcome back to Mabu College. This is the second half of population decline. If you missed the first half, please watch it before you continue. Or if you are already done, let's resume. Why not? The number of children in Japan has been the lowest since the post World War II, as I said earlier. Japan's falling birth rate and high life expectancy are still putting huge pressure on our modern society and community, leading to result in labor shortages. I've, I've been uh, looking into the background of Japan's history and I noticed the baby boom in 1940s and 1970s that happened twice before. Do you guys know uh, what they were like? A baby boom is defined as a certain period of time uh, marked by a significant increase of birth rate in the late uh, 1940s. That's the definition described by Wikipedia. The population baby boom uh, was caused by many young soldiers returning to uh, Japan uh, after military duties during World War II. Uh, then uh, they began to make uh, their family and brought about a significant number of new children to the world. Not only uh, Japan, but other uh, countries like US, Canada, Australia, likewise similar to have a population birth in parallel. Think about the soldiers coming alive back from the uh, age of death uh, battlefield in uh, Southeast Asia, for example. Uh, I can understand how grateful uh, they are still alive. My grandpa uh, had the same situation back uh, 70 years ago. Uh, he was a father of four sons and one of them wa was my dad. Now, uh, he had more than 10 uh, grandchildren and passed away from uh, cancer, so definitely uh, he wanted to leave his offspring before he died. Likewise, uh, many young uh, male soldiers at the same generation of my grandpa got uh, married and uh, made a baby because uh, they, uh, the war ended. That's the first baby boom uh, in the late 1940s. The dramatic increase of uh, birth rate uh, during the baby boom uh, facilitated the demand of consumer goods, homes, automobiles, uh, public infrastructure, and its related services. Then, uh, Japan's economy uh, grew, uh, grew up tremendously, and for the second uh, baby boom in the 1970s, uh, 20 to 30 years later after the first baby boom, the first th thing happened was the uh, baby babies uh, who were born in the first boom, uh, baby boom uh, grew up, and then uh, they turned 20s or around 30. Again, they get married and made their babies as well as their parents did. It's obvious the uh, population was dramatically increased, right? However, for the third baby boom, in 2000s, uh, it didn't come out like that. Uh, we didn't have the third baby boom in Japan. That was uh, considered as a turning point of Japan's population decline. That's right. Let's get deep into it because it's important to focus on this, okay? If you have a better understanding of a mechanism of a population decline going on in Japan, uh, you're gonna be able to overview the whole story of Japan. So, what was wrong with the third uh, baby boom, folks? What was missing? In an attempt to predict the next baby boom, uh, what are we supposed to do? Let's uh, look at the background of why uh, this is happening, folks. Maybe that would be better. Uh, Japan's traditional and cultural trend has been uh, shifting uh, from, class, uh, from classic to uh, westernism. Do you see how the things were going on? Let me take an uh, easy example with uh, arranged uh, marriage, okay? In Japanese, that's also called omiyai kekkon. My parents had an omiyai kekkon and I almost did it too. So, <laughs> most of uh, Japanese wedding were arranged uh, through a formal meeting set up by uh, matchmakers or coordinator. This practice uh, still continues even today on a small scale, but it was a, a mainstream custom to get married from uh, arranged, arranged meetings at my parents' generation. Uh, before, uh, one couple meet each other. Uh, they uh, they get each other the handout showing their background like name, age, uh, address, education, current job, self photo, and everything personal. Pretty much same as a personal jo job interview. So let's say once uh, you guys like uh, like each other's pro profile and consent to meet, your coordinator uh, set up the matchmaking meetings as scheduled in advance and then you actually meet in a formal way like wearing a tie. Talk along together for uh, one hour and if you think uh, your future spouse is gonna be the best uh, fit for you, you decide. But you are not encouraged to date. 
And what I'm saying, your coordinator does not allow you to date. You have to decide whether or not you want to get married within a short period of time. I mean, no later than one month. Because they know uh, you are likely to uh, break up with a relationship if you actually date. Especially if you ask for a paid arranged marriage, uh, they don't make you uh, take too much time until you live together. In Indonesia, for another example, you are not allowed to have sex with your girlfriend until you are officially married. That's ridiculous marriage custom, but I guess it might be somewhat similar to Indonesia. Uh, now that uh, uh, romantic uh, relations uh, be uh, became the standard way to choose a spouse in the current marriage culture in Japan, and it's uh, getting Americanized. Not a mar uh, mar marriage arranged by your parent, so uh, if you are shy forever, you are single forever. Why is a romance marriage getting harder to function? Why does it not last forever? Because the standard of your valuation is up to your spouse annual income if you are female. So uh, let me see, uh, I had a crush on you, okay? I'm hitting on you. Yeah, I see this like, hey, my annual income is 100K US dollar. I buy you whatever you want and you like it. You like me as a as a uh, business magnate. <laughs> you get married, uh, we get married, but you found my actual uh, annual income was only 50k US dollar. What do you think? You are so disappointed, right? You say, you are a liar, son of a Most of people crave for romance love, but in the end, they end up with a money issue because they look they don't look into a financial portfolio of each other you know so getting married in 2000 uh, changes your financial life in profound ways it's not just uh, uh, just that you are living together or sharing expenses it's up to your spouse uh, credit score or what your spouse brings into a, f a financial picture. So if you are looking for someone who provides you with the higher standard of living, uh, you guys uh, will fully need to disclose your asset, liability, and credit report to each other before marriage, unless you want to get messed up with your money issue. For Omiyai marriage, uh, you don't have to worry about that because your matchmaking person does research for you before you guys meet in advance. Not sure which one is your favorite way to choose your spouse, but if you choose an Omiyai arranged marriage, uh, I can kind of assume that uh, your divorce rate will be relatively lower than you make romance love because you are less likely to worry about the money issue. It sounds all matters of money, but at least not too bad. I know marriage is a big decision to uh, change your whole life. Not not that easy task to do right away. Uh, you're gonna feel picky, anxious, nervous, emotional in several uh, negative ways. But uh, once you clear your suppose has a uh, earning power enough to take care of your family with financial hospitality, uh, you're gonna have a bright future with full of satisfaction. Only a few of people in Japan, uh, maybe below 5% or uh, of the uh, Japan's population can be happy like that. But in those thousands, the rest of 95% uh, of total, unfortunately, do not have a happy ending like that. And you know why? Because Japan experiences, experienced the bubble economy burst. In the early 1990s, uh, since we experienced a period of economic uh, stagnation after asset price collapsed, uh, we had uh, we had the uh, last 30 years. We went through uh, the chronic uh, yen depreciation against the US dollar for two decades in the past. Uh, the Japanese yen has been so weak uh, as of today. One uh, 33.39 yen per dollar is the cheapest for the past th first three, uh, 30 years. This means overseas visitors come to Japan, go shopping, buy tons of stuffs and they bring them back to their home country. Uh, our uh, our export business is good, of course, but import business, not good. We have no natural resources such as oil and natural gas. Uh, we have to import them. Especially oil is absolutely needed resources. If the price of, price of oil goes up, everything gets expensive. Look at the uh, rotated sushi on Sushiro. Yeah, they, ra uh, they raised uh, the price uh, by 10 Japanese yen uh, on each plate because the uh, price of oil went up. 
Likewise, uh, other products and services got expensive too, but young folks like me do not have money because we are living in an age, aging society, right? Yeah, all the people uh, store too much cash in their uh, saving account and they do not spend it. What happens? Young people have to work hard, uh, work too much overtime. Uh, they are forced to uh, be workaholic. Something like you and your spouse have to go out working because uh, both of you guys uh, go to work. Uh, you can't make, a, uh, make many babies. Within a, uh, within a nuclear family, a small group of, of your family, you have to uh, make a living, right? So uh, this is the uh, generation gap between 30 years ago and the present. As I said earlier, 30 years ago, uh, we broke through the bubble economy and uh, all of a sudden it collapsed. As the economic recession uh, goes on, uh, we happen to have a different attitude toward saving and spending and the way how we manage those differences. Just be aware of this scenario, okay? When you are out of cash, you never feel like you wanna uh, make uh, more than two babies because it's too risky to have a wealthy life. In the first, of, uh, first half of today's video, uh, people uh, at the young generation do not want to give birth to their babies or get married because they call that their children a dead investment. They think kids are just uh, just going to grow up and leave home. They don't expect their children to pay a full of, uh, college tuition on their own. Parents uh, get nothing beneficial from their kids. Your kids betray you sooner or later. <laughs> They never meet your expectation. So the option that you uh, make more than uh, two babies is uh, nothing but a potential risk for you. I really think so too, and so do many uh, other people in Japan. That's why uh, we are having a chronic population decline in Japan right now. Yeah, not only that, but also we have other different factors why uh, less people uh, want their babies. We have a lot more disadvantage of a marriage. For example, if you are a single mother, a widow, a divorced, unmarried, or a spouse, spouse, your spouse are left with you, left you with your with no responsibility. You put uh, a burden of pressure over you in a many in any way. But uh, you are likely at protected by the government of the United States, of the United States, of the. United States, okay? In Japan, we have a classic uh, family registry system which doesn't really support you, especially if you are unmarried but uh, you have uh, your babies. Koseki uh, is the Japanese name of a uh, family registry system. Uh, so, uh, as long as you are born in Japan, uh, you must register and record the kinship of individuals from cradle to the grave. The principal uh, items such as your full name, uh, gender, uh, date of birth, birth rate, and the uh, legal uh, guardian if you are applica applicable, uh, those uh, credential info has to be recorded and uh, cr 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 cert cert certified in the family register. There's no exception about that. In Japan, China, America, and all countries in the world have to uh, follow the same. but. There's a huge differences between Japan and American, for example. You know what it is? That is how to manage a baby born out of wedlock. I feel so ashamed for, but uh, I had no idea what the hell was wedlock. If you are born in the wedlock, uh, you are uh, safely registered in a family uh, registry. So uh, you have nothing to worry about that. But if you are born in uh, our wedlock, uh, that's a whole different story. Simply, uh, if your parents are unmarried and your mom uh, gives birth to you, uh, you are out of wedlock. Uh, you are married and you had a affair with another woman uh, and then uh, she gets pregnant. The baby is out of wedlock. In the US, it's okay. It's acceptable. Uh, when I was in America, uh, I actually saw a, a lot of parents and kids with a different uh, skin color. I didn't feel anything weird, but I, if I see them in Japan, I don't know how to treat them, uh, to be honest. In the current family law in Japan, uh, the government doesn't really support a baby born outside of wedlock. Most of the people tend to be needy uh, when they have those babies in Japan. The traditional family structure is changing as Japanese economy is in decline. 
Mothers are choosing to raise less children, not to have a financial issue and its related secondary issues like、uh, racism and prejudice. I found, a, a, I found a YouTube video about a former teacher who was fired by school for having a child、uh, out of wedlock. It was quite a shocking video, but even in the US, it happened. So、uh, did Japan. If you have a quite a different family background and you don't want to disclose it in public, but if, you, if someone finds you, you are out of wedlock,、uh, people suddenly turn out to be a big jerk. Your close friend might stay away from you. Like, <laughs> your close friend might stay away from you if they know、uh, you are not verified officially by the、uh, Koseki、uh, family registry systems. As of today, unfortunately,、uh, we have no lawful act to protect children out of wedlock, and there is not、uh, even controversial discussion or、uh, public opinion yet because it's not the highest priority to resolve in Japan. We only focus on a, mar an, a married man、uh, working so hard all day, or, 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 or day、uh, working endless、uh, overtime, and then When something goes wrong with him, with him、uh, the government will definitely help s him. But, for some, for, 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 but, but anyhow,、uh, they don't help unmarried women with,、uh, with their kids born outside the wedlock. That's absolutely unfair. And that's an old fashioned, old fashioned Koseki family registry system s in Japan. Because all women know the fact uh, that uh, no one helps,、uh, helps them legally. They hesitate to make their babies in an instant. As far as I know、uh, about women's behavior, they never intend to have a shotgun marriage no matter what happens. They think marriage should be a commitment、uh, separate from、uh, pregnancy. Sometimes the pregnancy before marriage、uh, happens on purpose, but many times it doesn't because、uh, many women are afraid of risk. They want the security and the safety. Thinking of pros and cons of having a baby before marriage instead of just going through with flaws, <laughs> many of them just do not go ahead and get pregnant without a commitment, a promise, or、uh, you know, a sort of a legal documentation、uh, not to break a promise. That's why I guess、uh, Japan's birth rate is eternally low. Economically,、uh, politically, and biologically, various factors of population decline tell you how to visualize the future of Japan. I'm sure sooner or later, many, many global trends will go to the same path as we do. I was actually surprised to know、uh, that how many、uh, other people of my generation have decided to be. Childless. I also, I also acknowledged a significant global trend with the ongoing decline in birth rate when I watched the TV. So, in the long run,、uh, I think population decline is inevitable. And based on the fact it's inevitable, we should get adapted to the new environment with fewer people than before because that's what it is. That's my helpful suggestion for the next step, folks. Okay? <laughs> Maybe if, I,、uh, if we can develop a robot automatically to handle more and more work, we'll,、uh, we'll need fewer、uh, people to contribute. As science、uh, continues to uh, advance uh, our, your life expectancy, people will be able to contribute more years to be working. Obviously,、uh, that's another, in, another innovation of a new, new generation going forward in the world. I'm looking forward to seeing it, okay? So, everyone,、uh, I'll call it a day.、Uh, that's the end of the episode with the population decline, okay? So, if you enjoyed,、uh, I'm so happy for you.、Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Mapu College, okay? Have a great weekend. Bye.